Hi, everybody. Welcome to a Monday e-blog. David Prowse, the English actor who played Darth Vader in the original Star Wars films, died over the weekend at the age of 85. The champion weightlifter turned actor starred as the body, but not the voice, of one of cinema's best-known villains. Director George Lucas opted to dub another voice onto Prowse's portrayal of the towering masked antagonist, Darth Vader, in Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. James Earl Jones dubbed the voice of Darth Vader. David Prowse is survived by his wife and three children. Marvel's Black Panther now opens with a tribute montage of star Chadwick Boseman. Boseman died last August. It debuted on Disney Plus Saturday night shortly after Disney executive chairman Bob Iger tweeted the news Boseman would have turned 44 over the weekend. Cher is in Pakistan to celebrate the departure of Ka'avan, dubbed the world's loneliest elephant, who will soon leave a Pakistani zoo for better conditions after years of lobbying by animal rights groups and activists. The singer and actress campaigned for years to get the elephant out of the zoo, along with U.S. businessman Eric Margolis and the group Four Paws International. She helped pay for his relocation through her charity, Free the Wild. Local Pakistani activists first put Kavan's plight on Cher's radar with a Twitter campaign aiming messages with the hashtag Save Kaavan and Free Kaavan at celebrities worldwide. The UK's culture secretary has called on Netflix to put a disclaimer at the start of episodes of The Crown telling viewers that the royal drama is a work of fiction. Oliver Dowden said that without a warning that the show uses artistic license, younger viewers might mistake fiction for fact. The current season of the show, which premiered on Netflix earlier this month, depicts a tumultuous period of Queen Elizabeth II's rule in the 1980s and presents an often unflattering view of members of the family. Actress Felicity Huffman had a lot to be thankful for this Thanksgiving. According to Deadline, she is staging a return to acting since completing a short prison sentence for her role in that college admissions bribery scandal. The Desperate Housewives alum has reportedly landed the lead in an untitled single camera comedy at ABC inspired by the life of Susan Savage, the real life owner of the Sacramento River Cats, a minor league baseball team and a AAA affiliate of the San Francisco Giants. The article says she she has been quoting now heavily courted for TV series and pilots ever since her release. That is a Monday eBlock. Have a great night.